Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here. Today we're going to take a walk around the Lamar CC10. It's a classic car hauler series, 10,000 pound GVW. This one's got a few upgrades that would classify it under our equipment series line of trailers, uh, namely being the deluxe ramps. Deluxe ramps on this are going to be two foot wide, traditionally five foot long, and it's got the mesh face. They are a spring assisted ramp with the adjustable knee, but we'll get to that in a second. That is one of the primary ads that would take this from our car hauler line into the equipment hauler series trailers. So let's start out, take a look up front. So on this, uh, this standard comes with a stationary uh, cast coupler. Uh, we went ahead, upgrade to the adjustable cast. So this is what you'd find a lot of times on your 14,000 pound plus series trailers. Uh, it's a cast heavy duty, but also on this 10,000 pounder. Uh, it's got a 7,000 pound drop leg jack. If you're not familiar with the drop leg type jacks, uh, it's got an inner and an outer leg. So you see the outer sleeve and then you see the inner below. So whenever you crank the top one, it's gonna adjust that down. And then you've got, I believe, four holes uh, for the inner leg. Nice part is you never have to carry around wood blocks or any sort of cribbing to unhook from the truck. The jack on this, it's also a bolt on jack. So you'll notice bolts both sides. Uh, if you ever need to replace it or whatnot, uh, it makes it a lot easier to do so. So it is a seven pin blade RV style plug, standard on pretty much all modern trucks. It is also a blue cold weather wiring harness, stays flexible down to a negative 65 degree temperature. One nice part about the 7K jacks, it is the smallest jack where you got uh, serviceability uh, with grease zerks and whatnot. Uh, of course, standard breakaway um whip hook to your truck standard safety chains got an integrated holder for the chains which makes it nice uh, as with most uh, 10,000 pound trailers it does have a five inch channel full wrap tongue and a five inch channel mainframe some in the industry will use a lighter uh five inch form tongue but typically you're going to see structural channel like this one uh, it is what we call full wrap meaning it's going to wrap all the way back uh, to the spring hanger tie downs on this you've got the standard stake pocket and rub rail and then occasionally some of these will put uh, d-rings as well but again stake pocket rub rail gives you a lot of versatility going all the way down the side uh, this unit is charcoal gray we do like uh, the charcoal gray powder coat and the black mod wheels on this one just gives it a nice clean look our uh, reflector tape while not required because the trailer's not over 10k does have uh, some reflector tape going around the trailer two by eight pressure treated pine decking now this particular unit i guess i should mention is a 16 foot we offer this in 16 18 and 20 uh, regarding length this would be what we would also refer to as a 14 plus two you've got 14 foot of flat wood deck and a two foot tapered dovetail at the rear now one of the nice features on lamar that is a diamond plate tail not wood uh just Looks cleaner, better. There's no transition plate at the top of the tail to worry about. Uh, also makes it nicer if you ever need to drag something up on. A lot of guys, if they have a winch or, uh, or an inoperable car or similar, or a car that's uh, got lower headers and whatnot, uh, tread plate's just a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer. Going back to the fender area here, this is a removable fender. So if you want to take it off to side load things or if you ever need to replace it, uh, if you ever need to open up, uh, say, car door. Now, I know most guys aren't buying an equipment trailer for hauling cars, but surprisingly, a fair amount of guys do at some point or another. Just makes it nice. You can get a lowered car door open. It's also a teardrop fender, so it's got a little bit of extra strength as opposed to the straight fender. So, again, I said the charcoal gray, we do the black mod wheel with it. Just has a nice, clean look. Uh, the center cap on this is going to be your Easy Lube Hub. Uh, sometimes I can get these with just a finger. Today's my lucky day. So inside, uh, you'll see a grease dirt there. You can do your own uh, bearing maintenance. Makes it fairly simple for an average homeowner to service their own bearings. Now this also has the um, newer style self-adjust or forward adjust brakes as well. If you're not familiar, the uh, self-adjust or forward adjusting brakes are going to self-tension, similar to a car throughout the life of the brake pad. Uh, just makes it super easy to use, less maintenance, 
uh, it's always dialed into the right uh, to the right uh, setting. So you've got your stake pockets and rub rail behind the axle as well. Then you also see something you don't always see on trailers. 14k down, rarely do you see a gusset. This has a gusseted beaver tail. Uh, we call these ramps our deluxe ramps. Uh, they are a wider ramp. Typically, you would see a uh, 16 inch or so ramp. Uh, that's a 24. It's also got the mesh face on it. Just makes it nice if you want to load something other than equipment, say a golf cart, say a vehicle, uh, zero turn mower, just all those things ride up these ramps a lot nicer. Traditional stand up ramp bars does have the adjustable knee. So if, um, if you need to adjust the knee, you can do that on these. It's also got a spring assist uh, on the ramp. Just makes it super nice. To use so you'll see the adjustment at the rear goes within about I'll say 20 inches center to center so if you've got something with a little bit of a narrow front uh, you got roughly 20 inches there uh, for an opening that you can't close in other than that give you quite a bit of width adjustment for all types of equipment does have a radial tire as well that's a 225 75 r15 load range d that would be an eight ply tire it takes uh, 65 pound of air on this particular unit so again we stocked this in a 16 18 and 20 foot and a 10,000 pound this unit here is probably gonna come in about 2450 weight wise every two feet you're gonna add maybe a hundred pounds of weight it's gonna give you a net legal payload of about 7,500 pounds on this 10k trailer you're also going to pick up some truck side tongue weight. Uh, typically, that tongue weight via the ball that gets distributed to the truck is going to be about 15% or roughly 1,500 pounds. So your actual net legal payload, including tongue weight on this unit, is going to be upward of 9,000 pounds if your weight's all placed perfectly. Ideal unit, uh, something like this for um, maybe a customer that's trying to stay out of combination tags. If you've got a machine that weighs in the eight to 8,500 pound range, uh, you could legally stay out of combo tags. If it's a high duty cycle user, we would always encourage you maybe to bump up to the 14,000 pound trailer just to be in the safe side, have that extra brake and tire capacity. But again, if uh, someone had that mid-sized Bobcat, this 10K trailer uh, would allow you to, to stay out of maybe some of the extra rules and regs. Um, keep in mind, this is a 10K trailer but it does also have 5,200 pound axles. So your axles are actually built for 10.4. Of course, your tires have to match your uh, axles. So you've got, I believe the tires are rated to 2620 on this. So you've also got about 10,500 pound of rubber on this particular unit. Uh, one thing underneath, uh, this has structural channel cross members. They're not formed. So we do see some in the industry use a, a form cross member instead of structural. If you're not familiar, uh, formed would just be basically a piece of flat that's shaped in a C where if you've seen structural channel It's gonna be a lot thicker in your corners of your uh, structural steel also gives a little bit more weight If you have any questions on this or any of your other trailers feel free to give us a ring 717-220-4220 Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com